How can God accomplish anything through a person? The answer is simple. It requires his light. The Bible says that in him, Jesus is fullness of life. That life is the light, the fire of the world. It is impossible for a believer filled with this fire to walk in the dullness of darkness. A common theme throughout Bible scripture is the truth that Jesus came for the lowly and the weak. He never seems to be able to invade the proud. The proud fail to see the pain, piercing, ripped flesh, and humiliating death of Jesus, along with his resurrection power that displayed the incorruptible seed of life. This promise of life is that he would never leave you or renounce you. That is the true light found in every believer. But this light is not only to redeem you back to God, it's to ransom you back to full capabilities. 1 Peter 5 verse 10 After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace who imparts his blessing and favor, who called you to his own eternal glory in Christ, will himself complete, confirm, strengthen and establish you, making you what you ought to be. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or tremble in dread before them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not fail you or abandon you. There is a talk right now about ancient times and the greatness of those days. There are people that search for knowledge and secrets about getting ahead and taking out humanity. They do not seek the light of Jesus. They are harmful and have evil in every step. These are the same eloquent extremists that want to drive a spike in the dollar and then make amends by providing a shelter that is not a cure but a deception. God is going to dismantle their plans and seek after a holy nation, one that says no to collapse and no more harm to his people. Our enemies want the spirit of life to look restless, weak, and frail, but God will shock them in such a way that they will never regain their strength. This is the faith that moves mountains. Isaiah 28 verses 16 to 19 So this is what the Sovereign Lord says, See, I lay a stone in Zion, a tested stone, a precious cornerstone for a sure foundation. The one who relies on it will never be stricken with panic. I will make justice the measuring line and righteousness the plumb line. Hail will sweep away your refuge, the lie, and water will overflow your hiding place. Your covenant with death will be annulled. Your agreement with the realm of the dead will not stand. When the overwhelming scourge sweeps by, you will be beaten down by it. As often as it comes, it will carry you away. Morning after morning, by day and by night, it will sweep through. Isaiah 28 verses 5 and 6 In that day the Lord of hosts will become a magnificent crown and a glorious diadem to the converted remnant of his people, a spirit of justice for him who sits in judgment, administering the law, a strength to those who drive back the battle at the gate.